Welcome to Off Good Victory. Um, I'm standing here in front of uh, one of my shipping containers and uh, hopefully uh, the subscribers are enjoying those shipping container videos. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about this guy, which is standing in front of my shipping container. So you see, it's kind of embedded in this foresty area full of um, uh, juniper trees, cedar trees, pine trees, things like that. And then I have this one lone pine tree here. And as you can see by the base of it, it's been totally <laughs> buck rubbed. I don't know if that's a verb, but yeah, the box, the, deer, the regular does have been eating it, scratching it, and using it as a scratching post and really decimating this tree. And I hope it survives. But that's the concept I wanna to talk to you about today. So as an off-grid homesteader or um, a homesteader in general, you really do need friends, family, a community of neighbors, all of that in order to make your homestead uh, work and uh, in order to kind of uh, get through the trials and travails that you may have, <laughs> whether it be the uh, deer uglies, and those are rather easily taken care of, right? Especially uh, around this deer season. <laughs> so yeah, you can get rid of those guys. But this is kind of the idea or, uh, that I wanna really stress in homesteading. You really can't do it alone. You have to have your family, you have to have friends, you have to have neighbors that you rely on and you want to foster that sense of community near where you live and so that's what i want to recommend don't be this lone pine tree in the midst of uh, all the other conifers that are out here you know and um, and that way you won't be exposed like this guy and uh, you'll have a better chance to thrive on your homestead all righty shalom